Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Matthew. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the calculator to find probability values. Normally, we use the standard normal tables. For example, suppose you want to find probability of the standard normal variable less than 2.34 or less than or equal to 2.34. That is, you know the standard normal graph. We have the bell-shaped graph and the midpoint of the graph is the y-axis. That means mu equal to zero. And we want to find the probability value and I hope you remember probability value stands for the area value because in continuous distribution, probability means integration and integration means area. So this is the required area value. So don't forget, probability value means area value. And there is approximately no difference between less than and less than or equal to because we are considering infinite number of values over here. Anyway, the method is very simple. All you have to do is take your calculator. So go for on and then menu. And I hope you can find the normal distribution over here. And remember, we want the value probability from minus infinity to 2.34. That means we want the cumulative distribution. The word cumulative comes from the word accumulation. That means you have to accumulate. That means you have to collect all the probability from minus infinity to 2.34. That is the meaning of saying probability said less than 2.34. Anyway, let's go to the next button. Okay, now look at this. We cannot input minus infinity. We cannot input minus infinity. But the graph of the standard normal distribution has one advantage. The graph becomes an asymptote, uh, like what you call as near as minus 3.5. Once you reach minus 3.5 itself, you'll see that it is almost, almost, almost reached the x-axis, like 0 0.000 something. So the values before this are negligible. So instead of minus infinity, you can type any big number. Anyway, I'm using minus 99999 here. If you want, you go for bigger number or a smaller number. But basically, you keep even minus 10, then also it will work. Now, once more, I'll repeat, we are trying to find probability of said less than 2.34. That means we want to integrate from or we want to find the area from minus infinity to 2.34. That is why they have kept lower limit and upper limit. It's actually integration from minus infinity to 2.34. So the upper limit will be 2.34. And since it is a standard normal distribution, sigma will be 1 and mu will be 0. So this is the value as simple as this. Can you see? So probability of said less than 2.34 is equal to 0 0.9904 because normally we round off to four decimal places now let's check it from the statistical tables so i have the positive set score here can you see the positive set score so i go down 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 till i see 2.3 2.30 31 32 33 34 see the same answer 0 0.9904 okay let's do one more problem and make it like very clear suppose i want to find probability of said greater than minus 1.37 now look at this, we are kind of like allergic to the word greater than. So we have to convert it into less than or less than or equal to because in continuous distribution both are approximately the same. And that's very simple. All you have to do is you have to do 1 minus probability said less than or equal to minus 1.37. You can check our videos on normal distribution. You'll understand why I did this. Okay, now this is nothing but 1 minus the cumulative value from minus infinity to minus 1.37. So same thing, take your calculator. Can you see the normal distribution that is 7? and then normal cumulative distribution. You should not get confused in exam. Probability distribution means it is the exact value at a point and cumulative means accumulated value from minus infinity to the number that you specify. Anyway, the number that I want here is 1.37, minus 1.37. So the same process. What is the lower limit? Minus infinity. But can we input minus infinity? No. So what we do is we plug in minus 99999 or any big number that you wish. But once more, let me tell you, the advantage of normal distribution is it becomes an asymptote as near as minus 3.5 and in the positive direction 3.5. That means the values after that will be negligible. It will be like 0 0.0000 so small. Anyway, I'm not taking risk, so I'm going to put minus 99999 and then minus 1.37. Wow, that's it. I got the value probability said less than or equal to minus 1.37 to be 0 0.853. Yeah, okay. And that's it. You do this one minus. Now, there is one more possible case. If you are wondering how to do this, it's very simple. Minus 1.46 is over here and 2.17 is over here. And using your calculator, you can find the cumulative value from minus infinity to minus 1.46. Minus 1.46. And that will be this much area. And using the calculator and the above process, you can find cumulative value from minus infinity to 2.17. And that will be this much area, this whole area. So the required area will be bigger minus small. And it'll be very nice if you can comment the answer below. It'll be useful for others. And I'll be able to understand that this video was useful for you. Okay, I'll be back with inverse normal distribution using calculator. That's something really amazing. You can find the inverse normal values with calculator in the next video. So till then, my friends, bye.